All right, let's continue on with bag three for this installment of the iron, I don't even know, it's like Iron Man something, um, armory or something like that. And I just got done doing a photo shoot for this. So let's slide all that out of the way. And when my table is sure getting stuffed up here. I've uh, been doing a lot of reviews and stuff on here, and well, I haven't had time to find any of the stuff to make this table. So, yeah, and let's get started. So, I've been just kind of plugging away at work and fixing my junkie car <laughs> all that stuff I just you know hadn't really had much time and I've been writing down a lot of the tutorial ideas I'd like to do so I have plenty of stuff to do this summer now it's just when am I going to get to it? Well, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> so, and I notice that these videos get a, get a good chunk of views. So, at least somebody's enjoying them. Hopefully. Kind of like a little lie build troubleshooting video. Usually I don't notice it until somebody buys the set and they'll watch it more. Some people don't want to spoil it. I should just label these as spoiler alerts. Matter of fact, I forgot to look at the sticker sheet. Let's take a look here real quick. Well, I lost it already. Maybe that's a... Oh, no, we don't... Oh, that's right. We got to put those on tiles. Yeah, go figure. Uh, so we just, we're still working on him. Okay. And I got a bunch of stuff I'd like to build. And I had a fan complain already. Why don't you act, why don't you do what all the other YouTubers do <laughs> and just take you know and just do this full time? Well, that's why I have like that's why I have Patreon and memberships, but it's still not enough. And speaking of that, uh, yeah, on my main channel I do have memberships. It's basically for stuff when I get it done, it's done, and you get to view it first. So, for example, uh, no, now, this is the thing, I, somebody already asked this question. Well, do I get to view these new sets first? No, you don't. That's, that's a different deal. That's, that's something LEGO has sent me, and I can't do that. That's what you're accessing on the memberships is... Basically, early releases of mocks and tutorials, and I'm trying to find a way to put parts list on there where they'll be meaningful where you can download them. Now, uh, you've heard me say I got parts list for building instructions. I do. Those are on Patreon. Yeah. The reason why I'm doing the building guides is putting them on there not a, not only to use it as a backup but for your entertainment so you can download the guide you don't have to watch the long videos now some people told me that are on patreon they so they rather watch the videos and and just wait <laughs> but there's a catch i don't provide parts list anymore there's like a backstory behind why i don't do parts list well i'll just tell you um, the parts list, you know, has several problems with it when I put them on YouTube. 
one of the parts, uh, one of the problems with the parts list is that it's pretty much useless. Uh, if you go through and look at my older videos, they have parts list on them. Now, the problem with the parts list is it's just a bunch of words and part numbers. Ooh, excuse me. And that is not really helpful for somebody who wants to look up. Like if I say a one by two plate, a one by two round plate number one, you won't know it's this. You will not know it's that at all. A lot of people don't. Or a one by two plate with a vertical stick. I believe that's what this is. You won't know what that is unless you look for it. So, unless I show a picture with the build, it's almost useless. Now, I did dabble around showing the parts in the video, but you know, sadly people complained about how slow I took going through it. I didn't know how to do it back then. So, I said, well, that's not really useful to anybody. So I stopped doing the parts list for those. And then I started doing um, parts list on my website. And I heard, well, I don't want to go to your website. I don't want to do that. Can you make it all on YouTube? And so I threw my hands up in the air and said, okay, you know. And of course, the straw that broke the camel's back is, where's the parts list at, Jay? It's in the description, or it's in my website. Just read the description and I'll tell you where it's at. Oh, I don't read the description. <laughs> I was like, really? Oh, and I just said, okay, well, nobody reads the description. Why waste my time putting parts list in there? And it's starting to happen with, um, you know, I do my part hauls. And I list all the parts that I buy in the haul. Because it helps people out. I've had people request it. You know, viewers and fans and such. Hey, can you list the parts that you get in your haul so I can pick up a few of these parts? Sure. And what happens again? Where's the parts list at? And I'll look. I, and I physically will look. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes YouTube may make a mistake or something. No, it's right there in the description. And I'm thinking, well, I'm kind of almost at my wits end with those. But one day, you may, you may go on my channel and there'll be no more parts list. You'll have to... Uh, yeah, I may end up just being like, you're going to have to figure that out, you know. And I don't want to do that, because it's ruining it for everybody else. So. I've been tempting one time to put a, uh, to do a contest. And put the contest stuff in the description. And it's like our Discord server. I really don't advertise it. It's in the description of most of my videos on my main channel. Not this one yet, but on my main channel. And I'll ask them, I said, where did you find the link at? Just curious. Oh, I found it in your description or the your about page. And my jaw just drops like, I'm just like, what? Somebody read that? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I like using these videos for like venting and stuff. Nothing negative. And and also with the horrific news that I heard on the news today, what possesses people to do this, I don't know. And I'm trying not to give this person publicity. But going out and doing these mass shootings and stuff, that stuff is starting to get pretty old. You know, um, you know, somebody's that angry with life, why are you doing that for? You know, I mean. But I, I don't I don't get it. Yeah, I'm just kinda glad I'm not in school anymore. But of course it doesn't stop there. It happens at workplaces, it happens in colleges and churches and you know, like, seriously. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to bluntly say it. And just for you parents out there, I'm just going to 
have you put the video on pause so you can get your children out of the room if you want. But, yeah, I'm just going to say it. Why don't we all just get along? Seriously. If you don't like somebody or, or something, why don't you just stay away from them? Go do your own thing. You know, you don't need to cause chaos and havoc and stuff. You know. Remember Bambi's mother. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. It's the same thing. In school, we were always taught to keep our hands to ourselves. And to talk things out. Well, that's not how things are anymore. But So, you know, I mean, that's just how some people are. They just don't know when to stop, and they get all... I mean, yes, I get to work from home half the summer. Isn't that fun? I'm not going to go all weird on somebody and get all angry. I just have to deal with it. It's part of life. It's part of being an adult, you know. I'm not going to go all posto and stuff, you know. I, I don't get it. Just seeing that on the news just about that mass shooting just made me sick. You know, all those parents and children and stuff. And, and then don't get me started on the war in Ukraine. I mean, that, that right there is just wrong in so many ways. So... You know, like I said, though, if you can't just, if you just, if, you, if you're having a problem, you need to go see someone. You know, I mean, that's just how it is. You don't need to go out and do things that's going to harm others. And if you can't, if you can't get along, stay the away. You know, that's all I'm going to say. And a profanity rant. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it anymore. I don't know if I'll beep those out or not. But, you know, kind of think about it and stuff. You know, how many of those kids could have been my fans? Somebody that we knew or something like that. And it's just going bonkers. And more depressing news. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, out here in my part of the neck of the woods, I'm not allowed to water my grass anymore, so I have to let my beautiful lawn die in my whole yard. And that, my friends, is time to leave California. You know, I never thought to see the day that Having a house means letting it go to, well, I've already used my rant card, or my cussing cards for the day, but I'll have to mark this video as uh, got profanity in it, or I may just blurt it out, but I'm kind of just fed up. I don't go out and go posto, you know, just don't like the way everything's going anymore. You know, um, when I'm stressed out, I do Lego stuff. You know, I don't take it out on anybody. If I'm angry, I get on here and do this. And I'm short one radiator grill. So it might be in the last bin. You know, had a long day. Very long day. I mean, long, miserable, dry, hearing about everybody going out of town on Memorial Day, depressing type thing, you know, and you know, I'm not going to go in and start some stuff because I didn't get my trip. Kids are going to summer school, and that pretty much is the end of that. And, you know, you get to that point 
where it's like, yeah. what can I do? Um, you know, now I'm so glad now I cleaned my pool a year ago. Just speaking of the drought. I thought there was something behind there. Yep, so I have to purposely let everything die off around here. Yep, if it can't get any messed up now, it sure is. Imagine living back east and they got so much water over there, their houses go under. You know, those guys back east, they get tornadoes, hurricanes, tsunamis, floods, and and then they complain that they don't get enough sunshine. We'll come out here where it's sunny 300 plus days of the year. <laughs> and it's always like a hundred and something. Like The night times are not too bad. They're pretty mild. Day times? Like today was like 111. My goodness, and at night it's like 70 something. Like 75 or something like that. Really cool. And this is all you get left for bag uh, three. <sighs> okay. So these go on the top, I believe, like this. So you're actually, at least they're not really sandwiching two four by four plates together. Ooh. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Did I skip something? Okay, so basically you got to put it on like this. And then you got to place that on top. Oh, that should be fun. Yeah. But anyways, back to the build though. It's not a bad build. It's not my type of theme, but it's very pleasant. Especially even after a long day of work. So we'll just kind of coil that around there. Okay. Yeah, but all this violent stuff's got to stop. It's getting boring. Some of these people, I think, are just trying to make a name for themselves. I'll do what I'm doing. Take the long way around. All right. Let's do it backwards. Well... Well, I'm already not in a good, so much of a pleasant mood. I may as well just knock everything down and break it. There we go. We'll just bend it backwards and we'll move, maneuver this thing in. They don't make it really easy, so you just have to, you just have to try your best. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're making it harder now to get gas out here too. And I have family that just refuses to leave. I'm like, and what's so sad? I even I own property and stuff, and uh, it's useless to me now. All right, so that's it. Yeah, it's a rant. I may have to put a disclaimer on this video for, for rant mode. Some people hate the rants. Alright, so bag four, we're building that thing in the center. It's right here. So, so far, the color palette, well, it does fit the theme. But it is not lacking in entertainment. This is something that I kind of want to see put together. that. Whew. You know what gets me? I had like seven hours of sleep. <laughs> I guess it wasn't enough. When they say it's like lack of oxygen or something, I can't remember what, what I learned in health class when you yawn. It's like a lack of oxygen. And my altitude is, if somebody says, well, you must be in a high altitude. No, my altitude is probably about 50, 60 feet above sea level. <laughs> yeah, not, not too high. Of 
bet there's a piece that goes there. Yep. Sure is. Yeah, I may end up blurting out that word. If not, then uh, I don't know yet. I don't beep things. Some people will use that annoying beep like they do on TV. If I don't like what I said, I'll just... Um, like muted or something. That's why these are raw and cut. I don't script my uh, my live builds. Okay, so what they did here, they used these track pieces. And then, whew, they used the jumper plate as a little step. That's what I'm assuming these are. Anyway, come to think of it, I do have another cussing video on here. Yeah, I don't know yet. Just getting tired of the way things are. I wish we all could make a change, you know. You know. You're stressed out, go get some Lego and build it. No one's going to judge you. So this must be the teleportation thing. I don't know what that is. I mean, we clone things there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Does it just go around that? Oh, it does. Okay, cool. I'll just, we'll just around it, huh? Let's just go around it. Yeah, so this doing these in shorter segments is a lot better for my sanity <laughs> and uh, to make the build not so dry and boring let's just place it down because honestly the uh, <sighs> two hour segments were kind of brutal so yeah I think we're putting tiles on this but where do the white tiles go or the white stickers or trans clear I don't know what they are I think they go on these I need these for RVs don't look with that one yeah so the build quality uh, this is pretty good I don't know what that would be for it's like something's broken in here, but no, that's not broken. I don't know. We'll find out eventually. <sighs> Alrighty. This goes in the middle. Does it really matter? No. We're using these to go around. Is there anything underneath that? Or does it just sit like that? So, I mean, this is pretty seamless. This is really cool. I like this little pedestal thing. And it's got some really uh, unique stuff to it. Probably making somebody, some of you guys and gals out there. Somebody's yawning because of me. All right, so that's it. And reviewing this set should be pretty entertaining. And reviewing these old these type of sets are always fun, you know. You don't know where they're going to take you. Something that, you know, like I'm not into Marvel stuff. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. But when a set gets like this where it's somewhat enjoyable, yeah. Okay, so I have two of these. Oh, I already put that on the bottom. I was like, wait a minute, where'd that come from? But no, we got to put the studs at the bottom, and they're just the hollow studs. <sighs> mm hmm. Air can just, it's just running like crazy. Just heard it flip on again, so maybe it's a little too warm. 
usually if you want to keep your electric bill down, this goes for the kids too, you know, don't run all the uh, computer stuff. I have to because of work, because of computer programming. And right now I'm shadow filing up some videos so I can start editing here and try to get some of this stuff done. Like right now I'm doing a friend set. Probably already have seen it by now, so I don't know, it was that wildlife rescue thing. It was pretty interesting, just had so many stickers, but it was a very interesting build nonetheless. Very colorful and had the giraffe and you know. <sighs> Are those the black studs? See I can't tell, but that looks like it's gray. I don't really see, I see the black ones here. Oh, here's a gray one. What stud does that go on to? Oh, I've been, I haven't been working on my Minecraft resource pack. I've been, well, when you get tired of looking at a computer screen all day, that's the least thing you want to do. So I was actually playing Minecraft, not doing anything with it. And... It's kind of cool when you go underground and you see those pretty green-blue blocks or whatever they are with that detect movement or pressure and next thing you know the warden comes in and gets you. Yep. I was just sitting there and next thing you know I turned around and just saw that thing staring at me, coming at me. And it just about made me jump. I was like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's what Minecraft should be. I want to get scared and freak out and all that stuff. No, I didn't freak out and punch the screen or anything. I was like, yeah. This looks like we got ourselves a drill here. that's what goes there. Okay, that does. And there's actually a metallic wrench in here, too. Um, I'm after collecting these type of tools now that are metallic, because they look more realistic. Matter of fact, just this set alone, this right here would make a great little tool chest to put inside your Lego house garage, or maybe an auto shop or something, so it's not totally a waste. It's not a waste at all. Oh, okay. I was confused. Like, how do they attach that light there? So, they just use this. Make sure it's the right way. They use one of these holders, stick one by one plates with holder, and this is actually backwards. I don't think it really matters which way it goes, but it's supposed to be like that upside down. And you just throw this in. I think this is like a little work light or something. Yeah, it's like something like this. Like a little shop light. And that just sits right here in the corner. It doesn't look like it turns. But it shows a caddy caddy corner. Caddy wampus. So it's like that. No sticker on that? Wow. I'll tell you one thing though. Um, I just can't wait to get to the really fun stuff. I really I hadn't even got my campground going yet. I have to clean off this table. 
and put it up here. And I really can't do any of that because of all the review stuff. Okay, so the stud goes on the inside. Take these little type of frying pan things. Stick those in there. These are really handy plates. The plate number one, the one by two plate. There's like there's like millions of uses for that. It's like really good. We still got a bunch of parts left too for bag four. I thought, oh, bag three went by quick. Bag four. <laughs> Eh, not so quick. In fact, I got two iPads in here I need to fix too. And for those who don't know, I usually fix a lot of this stuff. People give to me or they want serviced, and I'm like, okay, I'll fix it. And. I don't usually fix it. I think that just sits on there. Yeah, these tools just sit on this here. Like we got an extra helmet. And they just sit on here. See? It's loose, and we got to build another table. This one's obviously got the screens on it. I'm not gonna. I, I may just do a full gameplay on this, or just play around with it, or something. But as somebody had asked me, "Am I getting tired of doing reviews?" Honestly, yes. You know, it's it's like an artist. You know, you can't take the art out of the artist you know it's like there's like so many useful pieces out of this and I have to review this first in order to gain access to these parts and a buddy of mine say like, well, would they really know I'm like yeah they log everything you do so if they send you a set and you say, they, they'll offer you a set. And if, they, if you say yes, and they send it to you, you have to film it or do a review or a write up because they may not send you anymore. So, you just do what you got to do, just enjoy the build. Right. And we're getting close. And we're going to be slaughtering it down with more stickers. We're going to deface some stuff. I mean, I'm not going to get all angry and go posto because I got to put stickers on a Lego set. I don't like it. I just do it because I can always say no, no more. I'm not going to. I may start denying some offers so I can work on my own personal builds. So now I gotta put some stickers on these. Cute, they even get their own little thing too. Well now I gotta find the sticker sheet. What happened to that? Oh, I guess we are stuck with it, huh? Let's see here. Well, all right. This is kind of confusing, so I gotta really pay attention here for a second. So one of the stickers that's got to face a certain way. So this number one needs to go this way. It's not like I can't put it on there. It's just. I, I could use these for something else. Uh, well, 
I'm not going to bother trying. I mean, you can barely see that, too. Let's make sure. Yeah, this has got a lot of stickers. So if you're a like me and you get a little squirmy and stuff putting these on and you totally mess up because you can't get them on straight I feel you I really do that's how they are like that and they go in here. And I don't even know what that is, to be honest. I'm um, just tired. that okay it's like that well if you think you're not if you think you're done with more small pieces you're not <laughs> I mean this I still have all this here left I mean I mean I'm almost close to the end of the book but it's just it's a lot of, at this point now, it's like detail stuff. At least the little parts are at the end. I think Lego's been listening to me partially. Okay, what goes in there? One of these? Looks like the short end stays out. Oh, it's got a little hex nut at the end, so you could use it as like a little wrench or something. So I guess it's like a like we're building one of these or something like that. Because it has a regular torso and a a black head on the top. Just solid black. And it's attached to his brains. So that's what it looks like. <laughs> and stickers on those tiles. <sighs> Thank goodness the stickers are done. I just like I don't have any blue. I don't really use blue tiles all that much. But it's kind of a, a waste. But we all know what's going to happen to this when I'm done. You know what gets me? Um, I'm in the Ambassador Network. And all these guys will talk about going to the Lego store. And if you're an ambassador, you can go in there and meet up with the managers and stuff. And, you know, maybe it might be a blessing getting out of the California. There is absolutely, you know, some, some people say, oh, you got a lot of Lego stores in that state. I'm like, well, they're not where I'm at, actually. I'm actually out here in the sticks, well, in the cacti. And these just sit on the table like this. This must be just some kind of, like, blueprints. Just sit like that on there. And then there's a mug that goes on there too. We should have put the mug on before we put the tiles on. So the mug goes right there. 
Yep, looks just like that, huh? Pretty cool. Okay. And we're not done yet. I mean, obviously you can tell, I mean, they don't just throw extra parts in there. And usually I use a satellite dish for these. Make these little type chairs. Just like a little, little office chair. And I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, I need to place an order for parts. But the problem is everybody knows how slow Lego is. And if you go to BrickLink, it's trying to find the seller that actually has the whole quantity of the quantity you need. I always get some. Said, well, why don't you just buy strictly from Bricklink? You know. Like, well, I need. Let's say I need 80 of a certain part. Let's say this golden stud launcher. I need 80 of these. And the, most sellers may only have maybe. Let's say the biggest seller only has 22. Well, some sellers have a minimum order you have to buy from. I don't blame them on that. But to you know, clear that order. I don't want to buy parts that I really just don't need. Another one of these. Or is it this one? Yeah, it's got the little nut on it. Probably some kind of a little little machine. I don't know what it is. And a square tile goes on the top. You know, I just remembered something. Um, the little Minecraft micro builds. Those micro build sets were like maybe. I don't know, maybe 16 by 16 studs. Uh, yeah, those were not really fun when it came to small parts. Yeah, you know, they were not fun at all. Now, well, let's put this tile on here first. I'm kind of jumping ahead. Uh, wait a minute. No, that doesn't go on there. Goes on this guy right here. I just thought of something. There was this place that I used to go to, and I was hoping one day to go back up there. It's up in Northern California. A place that got unscathed from fires and such. And I really wanted to go back up in this area and just literally just do an exploration of it. Never did. Uh, it was a place off the coast, or on the coast, actually. And I do have some video footage of it, but. Um, it was combined with a video game at the time, and yeah, kind of kicked myself in the rump. Oh, okay, I see what this says. This is a little drill press. This that's got all sorts of little hidden gems and stuff. We're not done yet. making sure you can see what I'm doing here. This has got a lot of stuff. Lots of... This set, you know, not my taste, but it is packed with a lot of detail. It's not a complete build. You can't drop this in your city. But, yep. Lots of detail.
And that is a stud launcher. Let's, let's go in here. Okay, so hold the stud launcher like that. Just plop it down in there. Does it actually hold a stud? Do we even have one? You know, I hate stud launchers with the passion. There you go. I don't like them. It's just kind of something that you really don't need. So you put the stud launcher on here first and then the fire extinguisher. Well, why don't we just put the fire extinguisher on there first? And put that on there second. Yeah, I've been working on my car slowly, and I'm making some progress. But I'm just going to go look for a new one eventually. Okay, the transparent clear things go with it. Shows just two of them. And that's it. And I don't know, I think this might go to that minifigure. I don't know what these are for. So what I need to do now is figure out what all the parts go to here. And this is just extra stuff, but or I could have skipped page two. I may have skipped something. <laughs> you all know me. I uh, It's not that I'm bored with it or anything. I'm, my brain is kind of shot. I don't like coming home and you can't water your yard anymore type nonsense. And the governor's mansion gets to stay watered while ours doesn't. And I don't want to get into all the political crap that involves that. Okay, I don't know what these go to. We'll look at the... Um, let's see here. Let's take a look at the box. So if I can find it real quick. Is that it? So that's the growth box. They show one of these go on here, and I'm going to be honest with you, I mean, it's got a lot of detail, but for me personally, um, this is really not my cup of tea. <laughs> Uh, we get a lot of small stuff. Here's an extra mini figurehead. I think it's for him. Extra trophy. Extra, extra, extra stuff. So I may have forgot a few things. So what I do with that bin. So that's all the extra stuff total. It's like taking apart a car engine, you try to put it back together and you got extra parts. You start it up and it runs perfectly. Until you go take it down and get it inspected and they tell you it failed. Um, so I'm not really familiar with this. You know what, with Iron Man Armory, that's the set name. We really need to make more violent stuff. Lego. Is that enough? We got buildings burning down. So, now for the final assessment. 
making sure that so I can index that with the tile with the uh, with the little index things you know the where it says chapters in the description that's what I try to do and this basically sits in the middle you can put it anywhere you want or have it spin around like that and here's the car I don't know what all this stuff does this is like some kind of hologram stuff this is like some kind of circular saw that's on four legs I don't know what it is maybe some kind of scorpion I don't know uh, you know this is more of an accessory set oh and you can't even see what I'm doing here huh but now I checked this is more of an accessory set than anything you know so you are left with finishing it up and Honestly, on the box, and I, it just it just looks so cluttered. I mean, what am I looking at here? So you could take these rail things down and reconfigure these. I'm not going to do that when I do the review. I'm not going to talk about the 20 million ways of doing things. Oh, and I see you put them in here. I'm not going to be able to cover all this in this in this round here on this stuff, you know. Um, so basically, your Iron Man figures. What are these called here? Iron Man. And they have MK whatevers. Uh, they just sit in there. You just start setting them in here like this. Honestly, this would make a great Star Wars theme, but yeah, it comes with a bunch of figures. Let's read the names here so Google can index it for me. Um, uh, let's see here. We had Tony Stark, Pepper Potts, Nick Nick Fury. War Machine and a bunch of Iron Mans and Whiplash and here. That's basically what it is. You can just pause that and read it if it's focusing correctly. Sorry about the light, but other than that though, uh, this would probably keep a young builder occupied for literally hours. Uh, build quality was pretty good. You know, it uh, comes with a bunch of extra stuff. I mean, there's a lot of goodies in here. It's got a lot of accessory parts. Parts that you could use in a city except for this. I'm sure you can finish this up and make an arena out of it or something. But, like, all this stuff here, you could use in a city. Car, you definitely can drop this in a city. I'll just leave that up there for you. That can be dropped. Uh, for me personally, would I buy this? Probably not. Unless it's on sale. This is like retailing for $90. $89.99, $90. What's the really big difference? So if you find it maybe like $40, uh, maybe. I thought maybe this is like maybe a $30, $40 set. No. But. I may be reading the price wrong, but that's what Lego says. So yeah, if you're interested in Iron Man, you get a lot of stuff. If you're interested for parts, there are some useful parts. Uh, windows, the car, yeah, there's a little bit of everything. So this, I'd, say that, I'd say the whole review is all over the place. For me personally, I wouldn't buy it. But if you're into the theme... I'm sure this is probably a gold mine, but for me personally, it just, I mean, it's got some parts, but nothing really chomping to bits for. 
I hope everyone enjoyed this installment of the Iron Man Armory 76216 by Lego Marvel.